Is this thing on? Hey, everybody. Hope you're staying healthy. Before we get into the interview, just wanted to say Sam Talks and Stuff will be hosted by the Misfit Monarchs YouTube channel for the foreseeable future. So go ahead and head over there, like, and subscribe. Cole's the coolest dude in town. So great guy. I'm happy to be working with him. Today, for my guest, I have a singer, rapper, songwriter, producer out of Ireland. His name's Gaff. Check him out everywhere. Gaff, how you doing, buddy? What's up, man? How are you? I'm, oh, shit. Yo, bro, sorry, man. Someone just called and just fucking cut me out. Oh, you're good, bro. Um, um, I didn't yeah, man. Like... Oh, I've, been, I've been great, man. Um, I'm moving to London tomorrow. I was telling you. But, um, yeah, I've just been, like, trying to really cultivate my sound even further and see where it can take me from here. Are you moving out there, like, for music purposes? Yeah, man, really just to, like, connect and stuff. Um, just kind of want to work with some people now. And just because since I started music, it's been the whole of COVID pretty much. So it's been, like, it's been a bit, like, not collaborative at all. But it's never been like that for me, so. Yeah, I was actually curious about that because you started releasing singles back in 2019. Um, late 2019 and then into 2020 obviously with COVID and we're kind of still feeling the reverberations of that now um, did that environment push you to keep making more music or did it kind of stunt your growth do you think um, yeah sure so so everything every, everything for me has really started like every, and you, since I had a song that started doing well like really it's been since 2020 COVID you know what I mean so yeah, I mean, I found it, like, really nice to, obviously, like, those social stuff was really, like, hard to do, and, like, no concerts and stuff, but, I mean, definitely on the music side of things, I think, like, I definitely honed in on lots of skills and just became really good at, especially at, like, mixing and just song arrangement and stuff like that, I think, definitely, like, helped me, like, really practice on things. Yeah, I mean, you see the microphone in the background there. Were you just, like, doing everything solo, dolo? Yeah, man. Like, honestly, from the start, um, I've collabed with, like, a few people, just mainly friends, though, recently. But, um, yeah, man, every, like, everything's been me from the start because, I don't know, like, I started off as a producer, but then because of where I am, like, there was never anyone to rap on my beats except, like, just like some close friends and stuff that were joking around. So um, I just kind of started just doing it myself, you know, and I kind of grew with my like producing skills. So yeah, kind of, it kind of worked um, kind of all together and I just slowly got better at things. Some of your songs to date have like done really well uh, on Spotify, stuff like all day, how it goes. Um, yeah, man. Songs like that. What do you, what do you kind of feel about those songs? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's crazy because I don't, like, push my music like some people do. And it's it's mad. I'm, I'm so humbled that, like, people are still going back to, like, that song, especially all day as well. It's got, like, it's nearly on one and a half million. So, like, it'll probably hit that soon. And it's just, yeah, it's mad to see people um, really coming back to it and just appreciating it and that's why i made it like has your hometown kind of rallied behind you and like built a good community for you musically because it's like so small i think um like definitely at the start like i i had a lot of like friends and people who kind of like because everywhere where i'm from people just move to go to college so they spread out everywhere so I definitely do think I had a good base of people who like showed um, like my songs to people and stuff in Ireland. But to be honest, man, like most of it's we're living in an internet age. So, I mean, it's all it's it's a global thing, really. Um, it's it's really crazy. Like uh, Australia is probably like number two for me uh, and UK and like the US as well. And it's just been mad to see what organically the internet has done yeah i'm sure um moving over to the uk or moving over to london obviously um 
do you have like any connections with venues or anything yet or like are you going to start playing shows soon yeah i mean the plan that's the plan is to start kind of rolling out the like live stuff i'd say towards like the summer um i really just concentrated now on trying to trying to get the next stuff out and like once i have my project um i think then i'll kind of use that to do some live shows and i'm really excited for that yeah 2022 so you are um you're working on like a full-length project now you said yeah man like honestly um the way it's happening is just it's it's slowly coming together i i'm not entirely sure how many songs are going to be on it yet just because i have like so many songs kind of just in ideas demo songs like people think i got no songs and i just i've been working like crazy i'm just super selective so um yeah i'm, I'm probably gonna put out like a seven track thing first i'd say um that's that's my goal for for this year definitely and you were saying you're planning on recent releasing that like before summer comes yeah yeah 100 yeah. percent. yeah well you said like most of your viewership has come from being spread around digitally but you also said you don't really push your music too much so how um have you kind of gotten passed around like the networks and stuff I, like that's it I, it's just it's really i think it's a testament to the music itself um i don't know what it is <laughs> some people say to me they just love the the diy aspect and i don't know it's it's i, I wish i knew i wish i knew gotcha um just moved to or you're moving to the uk tomorrow any any plans to like come to the united states at any point to do shows and stuff like that for sure man yeah um i actually have like some like a lot of family in new york and um i used to go quite a bit so i've been dying to get back since covid but um yeah definitely be making moves out there gotcha um you also i want to talk about your hometown just a little bit more because you said at a when you started off producing, there was no one really to rap on your beats and stuff. But uh, was there any kind of music that was kind of popular for people in your town to make, or was it just kind of desolate? <clears throat> I mean, I think like my group of friends and the people that like directly influenced me had good taste, and I think like they were those people in my hometown that would be listening to what people in the States would be listening to and the UK. And it's just like a complete in, like internet of things. Like it, it's crazy that people and even doesn't matter where you're from, you could be influenced by so much. Um, and I definitely think I had friends that were kind of progressive that way. And like, they're still to this day on top of stuff before some people even in the States are, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sick. it's crazy. The internet, man. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, in terms in terms of like inspiration and stuff, I definitely had like people who were into music around me and like my family as well, definitely. Um, kind of very musical. So I was kind of introduced to lots of sounds. Um like from jazz to, to rap to absolutely anything in between. Um, and I've just always loved all types of music. So yeah, I think just consuming as much genres and stuff as possible has only helped kind of find where I want to go. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just, it's interesting, like, um, <clears throat> just coming from a country that has you know, only like 5 million people. Um, it's just like fascinating how the internet can still give you that like exposure, exposure to everything. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's mad. Um, and I think it's not just about like the music and stuff. It's the, it's YouTube. It's everything. You can learn anything from anywhere. So um, 
yeah I think that's just helped me as as much as well like just learning how to how to do things like just using the internet to like finesse your way you know yeah for sure um what's going to talk about your most recent release friday on a tuesday that was your only release in 2021 um yeah why was that the one song that you released and why uh and i guess why did you only release one song and why was that the song so basically like the idea was um to drop uh, like a short EP of songs and the more I was kind of um, finishing off that sort of thing it kind of felt like something bigger and every time I'd make something better and I just I just really wanted like my first project to capture what I'm about so I just wanted just wanted the right vibe so I, I just kind of just extremely selective the only reason for not dropping recently is just been selective and i'm just playing in into it a bit um yeah and i'm I'm super excited and i just know the new music is going to go off and i know that the new music is going to blow the old, old music up so i'm just trying to i'm just trying to make sure the songs are the ones that are going to get people going for sure um yeah. have you made any connections like uh in london of people that you're going to be making music with or you just kind of trying to figure it out still yeah definitely man like i've had um i've had like i've been blessed with some amazing connections like i've met some some people in in ireland and i've just been connected to lots of mixing engineers and stuff and studios um but yeah i mean i'm not gonna let that kind of lose sight like moving to london i just gotta do me over there at the same time you know what i mean um yeah, sometimes like all that other stuff, like mixing and all the gear and having the best studios, like it's not, it's not gonna always make the best music. Like you can, I always make my best stuff genuinely when I've tried to make something for so long and I'm just tired as shit. And then you just do one more. It's always the last one. It could be like three o'clock in the morning. Who knows? And that's always when it happens for me is just when you think it can't when cole mentioned your music uh i was instantly a fan how did you get connected with him um i'm pretty sure he just reached out on um instagram i think he found me like quite organically somehow um yeah he just hit me up i think gotcha do you think it's just kind of coming with being consistent and practicing more and more that the music is getting better um or are you like stylistically evolving like how is the music kind of changing definitely definitely stylistically evolving um and kind of just always fine-tuning what was good about a gaff song um to the point where it's that like that's my goal like every year i see a progression in my beats every year i see a progression in how I mix my vocals every year I see progression in my guitar playing on tracks and how complicated it is and um I just yeah I just want to keep going until it's just completely undeniable and that's I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and it's um, magical stuff comes out of nowhere and I just I just love the process so um yeah that's what I love to do so are you it comes making easy. all your own beats or are you thinking about recording on other people's beats as well like to date yeah i have been pretty much doing all all my beats um but yeah like i'm definitely as i said like moving to london i'm definitely um i'm excited to meet people and kind of learn new things off other producers and stuff because that's that's really how you how you get to that point i think sure um i've spoken to a few artists from the uk before and they said uh you know music can only go so far i guess in the uk but once it gets to the states um that's when it really like you can really broaden your audience do you agree with that yeah definitely like it's just i suppose there's so many like music listeners just in the states alone compared to a lot of other countries so it definitely is 
um, a hot spot for culture and music as a whole. And it always has been, I suppose. I'm trying to think, is there anything in particular that you wanted to talk about today? Not really, man. Honestly, just wanted to have a conversation, yeah, about about the music, really. Yeah, um, have you been, like, uh, just doing music full-time, or are you picking up other work as well? Yeah, man. I, like, I went to college. Um, I, I got my degree. Um, it's UX design, so it's, like, um, graphic design for, like, websites and stuff. But, yeah, as soon as, soon as I started seeing some traction on the songs um it was a no-brainer like i'm just doing this yeah i'm just doing it full time at the moment it's it's beautiful it's i wake up every day and just want to make something it's um it's really fun i'm sure the the self-reliance aspect of your music is liberating but also it seems like there'd be a lot of pressure yeah i mean definitely definitely the fact that it's all me is if you like at times it can get just a bit much sometimes when I'm trying to write a song because it's like I'm writing the song I'm making the chord progressions I'm, I'm doing it all like from start to finish and sometimes like that process can be extremely long like and sometimes I come back to songs that are really old um but everything's just it's it's I I love doing it myself. Um, it's way more gratifying to like finish a piece of song and be like, no one else touched this. This was just me. But um, I definitely want to involve more people, um, for sure. So are you looking like um, to get like link up with other producers mostly, or do you want to like make beats as well for other rappers and singers? I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely a goal to produce. For someone else i think that would be so sick and i definitely think i have it in my locker like um because i make so i make so many beats like so like i'd say about 60 percent of beats 70 percent of beats i make aren't even like a gaff beat you know what i mean like i just know when i make one if i'm gonna hop on it or not and i'm very selective about which ones i get on and which ones i don't get on Gotcha. Yeah, and then yeah, I, I did want to talk about like stylistically. How do you think that Ireland has affected your music? I def I definitely think living in Ireland has kind of like pushed me to try something different to stand out in a way. Um, I definitely feel that. Um, just because, but I also think then. If you take music from just a random place, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be a little bit a little bit different. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say exactly. I suppose when I was growing up, like there was there was definitely an influence of um, certain types of bands and stuff um, from what people were like older than me, like my brother was into and stuff. And I suppose at a young age, I kind of got into like drumming and stuff. Maybe that happened because I was from Ireland. Who knows? Gotcha. It's interesting. Yeah, like I'm from a, I'm from the the U.S. Obviously, but I'm from a small town in the U.S. So I was yeah. just wondering if it kind of like, if it translates the same translates the same way, like just the small town. I yeah, guess. I mean, I think I think like there's not a lot to do here, so I kind of had to find something to do, and maybe. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Yeah, that makes sense for sure. <laughs> Where yeah. I grew up, there was not a lot to do either. Check him out on Spotify. His name is Gaff. That's G-A-F-F. -F. Gonna want to write that one down because this kid is coming up next, baby. Moving to the UK, big things coming. Stay on the lookout for his new music. I'm Sam. This was Gaff. Y'all take it easy. Sure. Peace. Peace.